Oh, definitely not. Definitely not. He's all about uh, Ohio State right now. You know, he has a whole another team to lead, but um, that time hasn't came yet. And like I believe he said in the press conference or something like that, I read about that, you know, he's going to coach these next two games as, you know, as he's coming back next season. And and that's what it's looking like so far. So. Do you have much of a relationship with Troy Smith at all? Yeah, yeah, What's definitely. It like? um, it, it's, it's weird <laughs> kind of at times because, you know, he come off as a, uh, as a great friend, a great mentor, and then he can be that coach. He can be that, uh, that hard-nosed guy out of nowhere. Um, it, it's very similar to coach games, like a young coach game. Did you remember? remember watch, did you watch the Buckeyes in 06 or watch that national title game against when they played Coach Meyer in Florida? Yeah, and I actually been watching uh, Troy and them guys since uh, they Glenville days. So yeah, they watched that. that obviously, <laughs> obviously, this is something that you really want to take advantage of this opportunity to start in this game. But you have to be feeling for JT and Braxton that this is something that they trained for too, and they won't be able to play in it. Uh, yeah, you know, you're right um, because you know when Braxton went down and um, in camp, you know it was. It was a really, really uncomfortable meeting when Coach uh, Herman had to tell us he was out for the rest of the season because, like I told him, like I never seen a guy work that hard in the off season to prepare and to uh, work on his craft the way he did. And same thing for JT. As soon as the Team Up North game was over, you know, my first thing was like, hey, "Where JT at? Is he okay?" You know, even though after the first drive I got in, we got stopped, but I'm on the headset. "Where JT at? Is he okay? Where he at? Is he okay? What happened?" So I mean, yeah, we feel for each other, but. We understand. We all understand that um, that can't stop. That can't stop what we got going. Now you uh, started in the 2009 state championship game as a junior, and really, I mean, you started at Glenville in 2010, but really didn't play in a game that important for five full years until you got to the Big Ten championship game. Did, did you ever get a sense people forgot who, about you, or just I don't know, just talk about that intervening time and and how it developed you to to play in another primetime game five years later. Um, yeah, definitely. And I mean, if people forgot, I mean, I don't have a problem with that as long as, you know, my teammates and my coaches knew that uh, I was capable when ready. So it was great. I got the show everyone. Cardell, I mean, this is a bowl game. Last question, Cardell. It's supposed to be for enjoyment. But can you and your teammates actually go down and enjoy anything like a regular bowl game? Or is this a business trip that there's there's a, another game on the line and it's going to be all business and no. Um, it's hard to say. It depends what Coach Meyer wants. You know, he's always about, um, you know, locking in and relaxing. You know, it'll be a time down there and we can relax. And it'll be a time down there we lock in and home in and try to get the job done. So it's, it's basically knowing that thin line, when to relax, when to lock in. Thanks, Carl. Uh, no problem. Thank you. Okay.